When you're working with search engine optimization and you are trying to bring more people to your site, it can be a good idea to have an associated Facebook page for you as a graphic designer or web designer. I have one for me as a teacher and that site is Mary Help. I don't use it heavily, but you're welcome to visit it. Don't send me messages on it. I tend to take weeks to get back to people on this one. If you leave them on the Mary Help site, I get back much faster. But I want to add a Like Me button for Facebook using plugins. And so I'm going to choose Add New. And I'm going to do a quick search for Facebook. And there's lots of options under Facebook. I just want a simple Like button. But you can also have it where you're publishing to Facebook or copying your feeds from Facebook. So they have all sorts of Facebook feeds and things that you can do with Facebook. And I just want to have it, um, I just want it to have a like button. And that's it. That's what I want. So I just want to have a Facebook like, bu like button. And so I'm going to install that. I'm going to activate my plugin. And then I'm going to go to my settings because I have to tell it where my page is. And that my Facebook ID, my public one, is Mary Help. And I'm going to let use the standard. And I'm going to put it after. And I'm going to save changes. I can go out to my page and you can see that I have my Facebook page here. It may ask you to log in. I'm already logged in so it will take you to the Facebook page where you can like me and I need two more likes on my Facebook page to be able to see um, information on activity and how people often people are looking at. So hopefully because of this video two more people will go like me on Facebook so I can see t statistics. So that's it's very easy, these are my settings for Facebook, very easy to add plugins and this is probably one that you want to add. 